Hey guys, what's going on? This is Nav here giving a new deck profile on the Domigra deck that I played at my locals a few weeks ago. I went X1. It was a very small local, but we did have some good games, some really um, impressive decks that came out, and we had a really good time. I did make some changes on this deck, but I really wanted to show you that this deck is really powerful and really strong. Basically, when this leader, when this card attacks a leader, you're going to place the top three cards of your deck into the drop area. And then if all of them are black, you're just going to draw a card, which all but two cards in this deck is black. This is a 60 card deck. I've been testing it. I feel like this is the way to go, but it's a really good, strong deck. And basically, if you're at four or less life, you untap two energy and restand them, you know, and awaken, whatever. And then this is Ghastly Malice Demigra. He has Wormhole. Basically, you can Overrealm and or Dark Overrealm twice a turn. When he attacks, you draw a card. And Active Main, choose up the three black cards in your warp and place them back to your drop area. This is really going to help you out recycle the Majin Buu, Wickedness, Incarnations. This is going to help you put cards back in, you know, that you haven't used yet, like your full Mission Accomplished. Or Kawutsu Kai's, you know, as long as you haven't done their effects. Because when you do their effects for the Fu and the Kawutsu Kai's, they get removed from the game. So they don't go into the warp, nor into the drop area. They are totally gone after. So we'll start off with the deck and we'll start off with the cards that you need to play it. So first off, I play four of the Demonic uh, Overlord Demigra. And basically for this card, it has an active main. You burst two cards for two energy and if your leader is a Demigra or a Toa card you're gonna place this card from your hand to the drop area choose one or two cards this is not optional you have to take a life you cannot say that you're not gonna choose a life you have to choose one or two and you take them from your life add it to your hand and you're gonna choose up to one gravy and one Poontine card from your deck and or warp and you play them and then you shuffle the deck so the targets that you're gonna need you're going to play four Gravy's Lightning Might. This card is pretty cool. Just a 20k beat stick. That's what I really just have them for. Just swinging and attacking. And then you're going to play these two, which is really impressive. Is the four of the Frigid Blast Poontine. Uh, she's a Dark Over Realm 3. So you want to keep her in hand on your first turn. You want to keep her in hand and the Demigra Demonic Overlord. Those are one of the cards you kind of want to mulligan for. If you have it, just keep it in the hand so you can uh, make some plays. Because if you go second on your turn two, you're going to swing. You're going to mill three cards, draw a card from leader, and then you just free play her. And basically, when you play her, whether you hard cast, whether you overrealm, or use the Demigra Demonic Overlord, you're going to be able to grab a Demigra card with an energy cost of four or less from your deck and add it to your hand. So... I have two different Demigras that you grab for. One is the Demonic Overlord Demigra, and the second one is from the Draftbox 6 support that is really helpful for this deck. And for the one Poontine, the Dark Sorcerer, it's a barrier with Unique, so you can only play one of on the board. Uh, ignore the first auto because honestly, it's just saying that if you have a, uh, if your leader's yellow and you rest a card by one of your skills, you free play her. But the auto that you really care about is the once per turn auto that activates during either player's turn. So basically, when your opponent plays a battle card using a skill or a, you know, they activate a counter skill, you're going to choose up to one of their battle cards and you're going to switch it into rest mode. So let me tell you this. If they arrival, you rest the card. If they swap, you rest the card. If they play tokens, you rest the card. If they do a boonie, you rest cards. If they play the topo, you rest the card. Any counter, any counter play, they do the free play counter cards, you are able to rest a card. If they do the Bardock's War Cry, comes out, rest a card. This card is amazing. And usually you want to bring her out when you activate the Demigra Demonic Overlord on the second time. Not the first time. You want to do it usually on the second time because. You want to bring out the Poon team first so you can grab the pieces you need. And then once you're able to do the Demonic Overlord again to, uh, you know, grab your life and awaken and whatnot, bring her on board and just relax. If they Union Fusion or, you know, you any kind of Union ability, the cards get rested, okay? No matter what. This card is amazing and she was MVP too. 
And for the Frigid Blast, another card that you want to grab is this card right here. The Demon, the demon God Demigra, Destroyer of History. So this card is really, really great. It opens up a lot more plays. It lets you play a Demigra card that you can kind of see in the corner. That was really difficult to play because you needed five energy. But for three energy, basically, he's an overround four. He has an auto for one energy. If you have three or more energy, you can choose one card in your hand, discard it. When he's played using Overrun, you're going to activate this skill at the end of the turn, okay? You choose out the one to the Migra card with an energy cost of five in your deck or hand and play it. So, you you know, after you do the Demonic Overlord, you bring out the Frigid Boutine, you bring out your Gravy, and then you're, over, you're, you're able to Overrun twice for the turn because by then you're going to be Awakened. You're going to play this guy. You're going to discard a Majin Buu Wickedness Incarnate. Your Kawitsukais, your food mission accomplished. You'll discard all those cards so then you can plus at the end phase and whatnot. And you're going to have to, you'll play this card. This card is amazing. This was MVP right here for the night. Forced Absorption Demigra. So this one says he's a triple strike, 30k. When this card attacks, if your leader is a demon god and you have 15 or more black cards in your warp, which is really easy, by turn three, you're going to have 15. And you're going to choose all of your opponent's battle cards, ignore and bury, and combo with them in your combo area. Even if they negate the attack, the auto still goes off. Even if they, you know, do some kind of something, anything that they do, the auto will go off. And they won't even have a chance to activate blocker because your auto goes off before blockers do, okay? So that's one of your options. And then this right here. My friend let me borrow his playset of the um, draft box six, the new five drop Demigra. He has 30k. He's in over realm for I think it's five cards, or you can dark over realm for five uh, black cards and pay two and pay two energy. And he's a 30k. Basically, when he comes out, you draw a card and then you warp a card on your opponent's side of the board. And whenever he attacks, they have to warp a card from their hand. So it gives a really good hand destruction. It really simmers down their hand, and it's a 30k beat stick as soon as it's out on board. So those are your two options to play. 90% of the time, you're going to go for the Force Absorption Demigra to white clean up their board. It's a lot of pressure. They have to invest a lot of cards to stop this guy. Yes, they both don't have barrier. They don't have deflect. You know, so they can play, you know, God Ceiling or something to stop these plays from happening. But they have to invest a lot to get rid of these cards because they're both 30K, okay? And then here's some other cards that I play. So I play four of the One Drop Dark Power Black Mass Sane. For this meta, this card is amazing. This is a card you also want to keep when you mulligan. This is one of your turn one plays as well. You know, if you don't have the... The Frigid, or if you do have both and you're going second, you know, you can play her, you can play him. And just keep your opponent in check, you know. Whatever they play, like a Boonies, and they want to bring out tokens and whatnot, then you're just going to make them discard two cards. It's really, really strong, you know, and it's a good self-awakener. And with this meta, he is very much needed, especially even when you do the mirror match. If you were to have a mirror match or go up against the Jacks and they start playing their trunks or they start, you know, they play uh, uh, Frigid, you know, Frigid Poutine through the Demigra's effect. You know, you're going to do very, very well. They get punished for it. They have to discard two cards. I just keep this guy hanging on the board. I barely swing with them unless it's really needed to. OK, you're also going to play four of the Supreme Kai of Time. Uh, guardian of space time so yes you cannot play her if she gets you know uh sent from the deck to the drop area because you need a black sane leader but that doesn't really matter to you um you just have her in hand she's a combo power if you have five or less card in your hand when you combo with this card it gains uh, 5k so basically i just kept it in hand you know i never really free played her or anything you really can't unless you have a black sane leader but She's really good. She's just your pseudo combo that makes like your eighth, that makes eight, you know, four extra super combos in a deck. Very strong, very powerful. I really like this card. I think you should just keep this. I think all black decks should like main this card. Uh, that's just my opinion, but uh, she's really good. Now for your cards that you're going to utilize and recycle, 
the Majin Buu Wickedness Incarnate. So this card right here, you can just cycle this card out. I was playing four. I brought it down to three, but now I'm thinking about playing just two. Because for one energy, he has an active main. If your leader's black and all your energy's black, you're going to send this card from your drop area to the warp. And you can't activate them anymore. But at the end phase, you're going to choose a black card from your hand, discard, and draw two. So you can just discard him, discard Kawutsukai's, or Fu Mission Accomplice, or just anything you need that you just, you know, you can just recycle over and over. And then with the Demigra leader, with the active main, you can put them back into your drop area and do it again on your next turn. So when you, you know, when it's your next turn, you're going to do that, pay an energy. And that's what I was doing a lot in my games. I was just really recycling this card over and over and over again. So you definitely want to keep this in your black deck. And next we're going to go is with three Kawutsukais, um, uh, Mechanical Courage. This card is amazing. I played this card on the turns that I was bringing out the five drop, the Forts of Absorption, the Migras, if I was swinging and trying to go for games, I would just pay an energy, put anything that's useless in my hand back to the bottom of the deck, draw two cards, draw oh, well, up the one or two cards, whatever. It depends on the amount of cards you put back in the deck. You don't even have to put a card in the bottom of the deck. And for the rest of the turn, if the opponent plays a battle card with 20k power or more, they have to choose two cards from their hand and send it to the board. So whatever cost that they're having to pay originally, they're going to have to pay more. This card was so amazing for me when I, you know, when I went for these plays. Oh, you want to play your counter freezer with green? The charismatic villain? Cool. Warp two cards. Oh, you want to bring out Topo? Cool. Discard a card and also warp two cards. Oh, you want to play Yamcha, the counterplay Yamcha? Fine. You know, warp two cards. It's just so strong so very powerful very strong when it's your you know on your turns that you want to go for game you just want to go safely into some plays this is the card to play uh, and i only play two of the foo mission accomplished um i was playing about three or four but i cut it down you know for two energy you basically get this card out of the game from your drop area you choose one black battle card you know with any cost of seven or less from your drop area or your warp so you're able to grab the migra again you're able to grab poutine you're able to grab you know anything you are able to grab your five drop the migras your black power mass sane you know your super combos you know you grab all these and you make some some pretty cool plays some pretty cool interactions so i was playing this card uh i used them a couple of times in some of the rounds I, you know most likely you're just gonna go off about one time to be honest with you it really just depends on your matchup if you're playing a very long game you're probably going to do this you know you're probably going to use both of them but if not you know one is fine and you just grab whatever you need to go for game you grab your super combos you know and just go all in and for the overrealm cards on top of the demigra card what i played i actually played two of the super saiyan bardark the tenacious and three of the Super Saiyan three Goku Man on a Mission. So the reason why I played this, this right here was a card that I played on the turns that I was also bringing out the Force Exorption Demigra. So when I was able to overwhelm and whatnot. So on top of making my big plays, you know, I would send three back. You know, I have about three in the drop area. So I have six now or attack with a card combo with it and i would play it for once energy one black energy over realm six and when i play this card using over realm my opponent can only attack with battle cards once on their next turn so they can only swing with a unison a leader and one card one battle card and that's it and then you can't play them again on your next turn this card was was really good was really good defensively because what i would do is if i have the if i play the bardock and then I also play the Poon and I have the Poontine on board. So if they try to do any plays on their next turn, like they try to bring something out with a skill, I would rest it. So now the battle card can't even attack unless they have another one on board. And then, you know, and then they can only just swing with the leader. So this card, I only play two. I was playing three, but I realized that, you know, he's only going to be played every other turn. And I just didn't want to get my hand really clunky with it. I was I could be able to grab him back with food mission accomplished so i just keep them in hand you know and then when you play the 
SS3 Goku man on a mission. This was just for the aggro play, or this is if I wanted to go for a game. You know, over round six, critical double strike, really, really easy to do. I mean, the deck really recycles the warp. It, it, it's just very open. This deck is very open. The drop area and the warp is just, you can just play around with it and just bring them out. I never had any issues when I brought them out. Most of my, most of the times when I brought this card out, my opponents would, um, you know, use their counter plays. They would use all their their resources of defense to, to stop him. But then, you know, they still have to face a force exhaustion to Migra. They still have to face any double strikers, you know. So that's, it's a really good card. And next, my lineup for the Super Combos. I'm kind of just testing this out. I played two SS Vegeta, the Prince Strikes Back, and two Bibbity. Um, Bibbity is still pretty good in this meta. This is just my opinion. With this deck especially, it is not hard. Just like the same thing with Vegex. It's not hard getting that 15k. And on top of that, you know, my hand gets smaller and it increases my Supreme Kai of Time to be another pseudo combo, so for 10k and whatnot. And the Vegeta, you know, I really like the Vegeta. I'm able to put cards back in the deck that I don't want in my hand. I can put the four six shores in the Migra back. I can put the draft box six to Migra back. I can just put cards that I don't need, anything unnecessary. Like, I don't need this right now. I don't want it. Draw two cards. I can put an extra card back in the deck that I don't need and just recycle and combo more. So very strong cards right now, okay? And for my two black, my two non-black cards, I play two Hidden Power E Supreme Kai. Uh, this card's pretty good, really amazing. It's just my double striker going for game. I only play two. I was playing three, two, four. But if you swing with your leader and you're not awakened and you mill it, you don't get to draw. So you kind of neg on that. So you lost a double strike and you lost a draw. To be honest, though, on the flip side, with this deck, you're usually waking up on turn two, turn three. So those are the only really two turns that you're going to be sending cards from the top of your deck, you know, into the drop area. So what I say is keep this card if you really feel like it. Just keep this card when you mulligan as well. So you have the Black Power Mass Sane, the Frigid Poutine. You know, you have the Dark Demigra, and then just keep this card in your hand because you can swing with any of your battle cards and go for game. If they're not able to, the, you know, if your Force Absorption Demigra doesn't give you game, just play the Hidden Power Supreme, you know, East Supreme Kai. This card is amazing. If your leader doesn't have Double Strike, you have to play a Double Strike card like this, you know, because it's, it's sometimes the element of surprise. It really just helps out. And for my extra cards, I play... Three Majin Buu's Human Extinction Attack. This card is amazing against the green matchup. With green, you can warp anything in their drop area so they can't recycle their Zarbons. They can't try to discard their with their Rebrians. They, you know, you get rid of the Roshis. And this card, you know, pumps up one of your black cards, whether it's a leader or a battle card, you know, by 15k power for the duration of the battle. It's really good, and you're able to send the top four cards of your deck into the drop area. So if you needed to fill up more cards in your drop area so that you're able to overwhelm for the turn, you know, whether if you're going to overwhelm the SS3 Goku, Man on a Mission, or the Bardogs, or the Draft Box 6, the Migra, you know, those are your targets right there, and you need something, and that's the way to go. Or if you're just trying to get your Kuitsukais, your mission, uh, your Fu mission accomplished, or the Majin Buu, you know, this card is amazing for me. I was able to warp, or you can also warp the Goku, you know, the Sane, the, the Sane Instincts, you know, Sane Ape Instincts, so they're unable to draw two cards. This card is really, really great. And then I also play four Power Burst, you know, with an aggressive deck. It's kind of like as if you're drawing two, you know, you negate an attack, you take a life, you add one of your Supreme Kai Times or your Dark Power Black Mass Sane, or you can add Kawutsukai if you really wanted to, you know, for if you want to have some combo power on your turn or for the next turn or, 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 or you know, when it's when they're trying to, you know, go aggro on you or push for game, you have more options to play. This card's amazing. You know, for Sparking 5, it's not difficult. Your leader already is going to put three back in. You know, you're putting cards from your deck to the drop area. You're going to have really, really, really easy time using Power Burst. And for my final card, this Secret Rare is optional. You don't have to play it at all. But it's just the SS4 Gogeta Peerless Fusion. 
you know, ultimate triple strike. You can't play battle cards. This card can't be removed from the battle area and you can't combo with cards in your battle area. Um, so it's an active main. You pay five, 45K. And if all your energy is the same color, which it will always be, so it's going to be black. You draw two cards, switch up the two of your energy to active mode. Your opponent warps two cards from their hand and two cards from their battle area, two battle cards, and you just bring this out. So if you have this card out, and you have Force Exhaustion Demigra out. You have two Triple Strikers on board. Demigra's coming out turn three. The Gogeta's coming out turn five. I've only in the tournament, I only played them once. And it was a really good turn when I had the Force Exhaustion Demigra and the Gogeta. It was just really, really powerful. You do not have to play this Secret Rare if you don't want to. If you want to play, you know, the Demigra Secret Rare. The one that, you know, looks at their hand. You grab four cards. It's a combo. Or you want to play the Dark Dragon, the Negative Dragon Balls, or if you want to play, you know, the, the, the Black Smoke Dragon, doesn't matter. Whatever you want to do, it's it's totally up to you. This is what I play. This is what I have. And it's a really, really good move to play. You know, it's really strong. And uh, so that's it for my deck profile. You know, it's still in the works. I'm probably just going to update it as the meta continues. There's so many more other cards you can play, but... You know, we're just still working on it. Set 12's coming out soon. There's some pretty cool black cards you can play and experiment with. And yeah, so if you guys have any comments, suggestions or anything, you know, just let me know. Hit me up on the, uh, you know, hit me up on the YouTube. You know, you can send an email or you just comment below and just give your thoughts. I'm going to have more gameplay of this deck uploaded. And uh, yeah, so good luck, guys, and have a nice day.